I'm an old friend of Peter's. I've known him ever since his name was Antonio. Oh, that's right. Antonio Fiorno. I know all about Peter's previous life. If you were part of it, you must have had a pretty colorful past yourself. Oh, a cop. I might have known. Well, what is this, a stakeout? Looking for fugitive ghosts? Or perhaps it's a corpse you're looking for. There are plenty of them here. Ah, uh, it comes back to me. You're ginger somebody. You used to run the call service that Peter worked for. You were his pimp. Oh, I wouldn't go quite that far. I merely introduced him to a few lonely ladies. Yeah. It is a fine distinction, I suppose. So, this tombstone was your idea? That's right. I ordered it. It seems to me everybody, no matter what they did in life, deserves a nice tombstone with their real name on it. Well, this certainly is a nice one. You must be doing quite well. Just in town to visit the grave? Party. I'm also here to help a friend who's in trouble. Oh, but don't worry, Inspector. I'll stay out of your way. It's a real joy talking to you. jealousy and loneliness, even though I know you love me above all others, as I love you. This love of ours, our secret, which we can't ever share with the world, it is a love that will last forever, through all eternity. Your lover always, Lindsay. So, Lindsay, whoever you were, you wrote this letter to your secret lover, Channing. But somehow Peter Flint ended up with it. Something funny about that. 